Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode we're going to continue with our Ford GT. We're looking really good after the end of the previous episodes. Um, in this episode we're going to just continue working on the little loose ends um, for this. We're looking really nice for the most part. Um, and then we've got the vents to do and we've got a little bit of where the side skirt joins down here. So we've got plenty to be working on um, in this session. So let's maybe make a start. So we're going to go and maybe start with this bit just here. Um, let's get this straightened up. So it's going to be a little bit awkward because we do have quite a lot feeding into this. Let's maybe just isolate the selection here. Um, I'm going to go and select the edges, um, these two. And let's see what we can do in terms of a bevel. So that's way too big. So let's just take that down. I'm going to go something at 0 0.2, 0 0.02, should I say. Something like that looks like it could be quite good. Um, let's just merge all these back, something like that. Okay, so that's going to help us add that extra little triangle in there. So let me bring that back in. We can see that we're running nice and close with that, which is good. Um, let's bring that back. We do want to re, well maybe when we come to do the next stuff we'll, we'll think about repositioning that, but I think that's looking okay under there. And we have this bit too, we could realistically do the same thing, I think we want to run a line down here first, um, and maybe that line intersects over here, so let's go and draw this in here. Um, yep. Drop that in. Let's hit three and just see how that looks. So that's looking much tighter as it goes up there, um, which is good. Okay, so that's looking nice. We do want to do something here though. So let's maybe take the same as what we did with the window. We'll grab these and I'm going to go and bevel and again 0 0.02 let's see how that looks maybe 0 0.01 and I'm gonna go and merge maybe let me take that there and that one there so we've just got those two little edges chilling in there so now when we hit three we can see that's tying in much closer to that, which is good. Okay, so that's looking good. I don't know, I don't remember if I said anything else at the end of the previous episode. Um, there is some areas I, I'm a little bit wavy there. I'll probably fix that myself in between episodes, so I'm not wasting too much time um, thinking about those just now. So I think we're looking quite good. Um, in here, maybe let's have a go at dropping an edge all the way around there. Okay, and then that's aligning up there okay as well. Okay, so I think that's looking good. Uh, let's think about this handle real quick. Um, so we've got a handle, it's losing its shape fairly consistently. Um, let's just drop in, but well, we can't really drop in any edge loops because we kind of want the edge of this to form the same. We want this to run around here as well. Let's maybe quickly try dropping another edge down there. So if we hit three now, That looks to have done quite a decent job for us. Let's check with our paint. Okay, so I think that's looking quite nice. We've got that in there. Let's maybe see if we can do a quick duplicate special. 
And then I'm just going to drop my carpet on this side as well. Okay. So, I think for the most part here we're looking really good. Um, I'm going to look at some of the, address some of the waviness inside here in between episodes. I've just got a little bit underneath there which I'm not too happy with. Um, so I'll have a think about resolving that and then I'll let you guys know what I've done in order to do so. Um, I think if we do a little rotation around it's all looking pretty good and again maybe up here I'm not too happy with the way that my edge is forming up there so I'll maybe do a little bit of changes up there as well but like I said for the most part I think we're looking really good so um, we could maybe get some of our honeycomb mesh and I'm going to drop it in this side portion here let's get this rotated around okay so I think that looks pretty close Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I don't think we'll need to use any lattice, which is good as well. Uh, let's run around real quick and just delete anything that we don't really need. I think that's actually first. I'm going to go in and let's extrude these. I'm going to remove the keep faces together. Let's take that in here. Go in just a bit. I'm going to hit Control E, we'll take that down, and I'm going to hit Delete on that. Okay, so we're looking good. I'm going to want to run around and delete any kind of faces that we don't want. Hmm, I'm thinking that looks a little bit weak actually. Um, let me double check my reference images. I'm just going to dial that back before the extrusion. Let me check my references. I'm going to see how, um, how far back it is. I don't think it's too far back because we did have a think about how it sits um, inside there. Okay, so I think what's actually so bad about that example there is the honeycombs are maybe just a little bit too large. Let's maybe have a go at scaling that down. Okay, so we maybe go for something a bit more like that. Um, I would push it back, but in the reference images, it is genuinely really close to the front here. So let's try see how that looks. Which I'm going to try and go a little bit thinner. Maybe let's see what happens if we go in. I think maybe if we go in that way, it might look slightly better if we go in on the world and just straight up on the Z axis. Yeah, so I think it looks better when it's on the z-axis there. Okay, and then it's just going to be a case here of grabbing anything that we don't need. So I'm just going to go and just delete everything that's kind of visible in the video here after the video. I'll go through and fine tune that a little bit more. Okay. There doesn't seem to be any kind of really visible trim as part of that. So let's just go and I think we'll go gloss black on that too. Okay. 
So that's looking good. Uh, let's work down here. And I'm just going to take these bits. Grab all of them and hit Control E. And pull these straight down. Looks like I've got to flip these faces here because the normals have turned. So let's go and hit mesh display and reverse. I'm going to insert an edge loop and then I'm going to delete the gap. And I'm just quickly going to apply. The gloss black. We do have a little bit of work actually. We need to go mesh, we need to hit separate on that. Um, let's go for the gloss black real quick. So, um, let's just quickly grab all of this. I'll maybe just actually get rid of this face here. Grab all of this. I'm going to hit Control E. And I'm going to pull it a little bit. Hit Control E and then pull it again. And then I think I'm just going to drop in a loop across the top there. Okay, so we're looking okay there. I'm going to do another little change, so we haven't quite finished here. Um, maybe what we could do with this is because this isn't quite as sharp, let's take that back just a touch. Okay, um, we should be able now to duplicate special with both of these. Let's actually, before we switch that, I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to combine and separate and duplicate special both of them. Okay, chuck those on the other side. Um, what I'm thinking, I'm going to hit three on these. So this here actually comes and it sits down here. So I'm thinking we'll maybe add just a little bit of curve to these. Okay. And I want to do the same at the front here. So they're much closer to those kind of front sections. Okay, and then the other side should have done the same, which it has. Okay, so that's looking really nice. Um, let's have a little think here of what we could really do next. Let's maybe think about this window trim. And just isolate the selection. I'm going to pull it down so it's fairly close. And then once I'm happy with that, let's just go and hold down V and bring that over there. Hit three on here. So we'll probably want to add a little bit of definition to this. There isn't a massive amount in the um, references in here. So let's maybe go and we'll drop an edge on both sides just to kind of help to define them a little bit more. We're going to want to bring this one back. So we'll drop two edges up there and we're going to want to do the same down here. So I'm going to drop two edges at the bottom here too. Okay, 
we can start to see where we're moving away a little bit. So for example, if we drop an edge here, um, I think we're looking okay at that first initial spot, but we do want to have a little bit more there where the door kind of closes. And then we definitely want a bit more up here. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a double up there as well. So that's helped to kind of shore that up a little bit. So that's following the window a lot better. It does look like on the references that we want to be tucked in a little bit more. So we want to see a little bit of the edge of the the door. Do it for that one too. And maybe for this one as well. So it just looks like we want to see like an extra kind of line of contrast there. You can see that running around on that outside section, so that looks good. We probably want to make a little bit of a change to the glass to kind of facilitate that. Okay, um, let's have a go at selecting all that glass. I'm going to hit Control E and just pull it in slightly. I think what we'll probably want to do is maybe actually let's maybe not pull in let's undo that so we've just got the edges because if we hit three on here it's going to be a little bit awkward because of areas of this grass and uh, this glass here is quite um, the geometry we haven't really done a good job at making it match but what we can do is let's maybe grab from this lower point and we'll take that up there which will allow us to get rid of that edge. We've got these vertices in here, so what we could actually do is drop an edge down there as well. What we need to think about too is that the door here, does that line match with how the door kind of breaks off? So we can see that that tucks a bit further back here. Um, so we'd probably want instead of doing that, maybe what we'll do, let's keep it as one large block. Let's go and add in some lines. So I'm going to grab from up there. Take this down here. nice and close all the way and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna drop it next to the edge there so if you isolate that selection I dropped it just here but actually rather instead of doing that I'm gonna drop in drop in a line in here which will allow us to run around the corner there. Okay. Do the same over here. Lambert here. I don't know if it's going to be too hard for you guys to see as is, so I'll drop a little Lambert on. Um, I'm going to do some target welding. Um, actually, bring that over there. Let's get my edge slide. Make a little bit more space there. that one up. There is like an extra weird edge, I don't know if I added that, but there is an extra kind of double edge in here that I've got, so I'm just going to delete that one too. Okay, 
just gonna merge there because my geometry was looking a little bit weird. Okay, so I'm maybe just gonna put a little bit more space in there. Okay, so that's why the geometry was looking weird because I've got these extra bit for the merge. I'll just um, control Z that because I think what I've done was accidentally target welded the wrong spot. Okay, so let's go again and get rid of that. Sorry guys, I just accidentally target welded the um, one of the rear portions, so I'm just going to have to run inside here. Make sure that all my bits here are merged. Gonna make a bit more space in that line. I did draw that awfully close. I think it's probably a little bit too close. Take that away. Get rid of this edge. And this one here, I'm gonna push maybe a bit in that direction. So I'm gonna need to run and quickly just do my target welds again here. Put that in there, and then I have this weird edge. Let's get rid of that. Okay. And then over here, let's push in this direction. Okay, so just kind of run an edge around the hole of that glass. So we're going to want to try now and think about how we're going to maintain uh, these sections in here. So I think what we'll be able to do is if we grab our insert edge loop now, we should be able to drop in an edge down there. And what this edge will do for us is it will allow us to grab our multi-cut and this time we're going to go down and around here. And we're going to do the exact same on this side because I really don't want any like lines that are flowing from top to bottom because that's going to offset our um, that's going to offset the glass a little bit. It's going to make it a little bit weird. The reflections might not look the best. Let me just get a bit closer here. Okay, I'm going to do the same there. So now, when I hit three, we should have that. I've got something weird going on here. I'm going to maybe just grab all those outside edges. Maybe what we'll do is I've got a little bit of a problem with my elements here not being merged so I'm just going to run a quick a quick merge on these you guys might not need to do this it's just my ones looking a little bit weird so I'm just going to quickly merge all these vertices Hopefully that will sit a little bit better. So now I can grab all of those. I'm going to hit Control E. And now I'm going to add a little bit of width to this. But we can see here that I've got an issue again. So that's looking a bit better. Okay, so we've got that side looking nice. Um, I'm going to grab these here. And pull those down. Okay. I'm going to want to get this top edge. And I'm going to bevel this. Take that down 0 0.02 maybe. And then merge those vertices together. That'll help make a bit of a point up there. 
And it should be just enough. Let me pull that up and out of the way. And then I'm just going to do the same with this. I'm going to grab this and just pull that into that corner there. So that should allow us now to create, have some nice, fairly smooth uh, glass. Let's get rid of both of those. I'm going to bring my glass material back. And just remove the smooth, because I am going to combine them. Which will allow me to duplicate special. We can smooth both of those off. Okay, so that's looking quite nice. Um, it's all looking fairly coherent uh, inside there, which is good. I think for the most part, we're looking very nice. Um, looks like I still got a face in here. So again, you guys might not need to do that, but I've got that extra little face, which we need to get rid of. Yes, that's better. Okay, so I'm really happy with how this is looking. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do um, a little bit of a test render with the body here just to make sure everything's looking nice. I'm thinking that my favorite angle is definitely um, towards the back here. It's looking pretty good. Uh, let's maybe take this and just push that back inside there. That can be our camera lens in there. We do need to also think about creating some glass uh, to sit inside there as well for our, um, I think there were the reversing lights that are down there. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Um, I think what we'll maybe do is let's maybe grab this glass and take all of these here. Um, at the back here, there is a gap, which looks quite cool. I'm going to take that down just a little bit because there is quite thick glass as well. And we're not going to need to do too much for this. I think we'll just grab some lines up and across there, and then across the top too. And then we could maybe drop one up there as well. So it's nice and quick, easy glass. Um, let's see if we get rid of that one. Okay, um, we do have a fence here. This one's going to be fairly tricky, I think, to kind of emulate. Let's maybe make a start. I think what we want to do for this is we're going to hit Control E. Um, we're going to want to scale that in, I think. That looks okay. Hit Control E again, and maybe we'll pull down vertically. I think we want to go down quite substantially. And then we can get rid of this extra face at the top there. I think that's okay. I don't think we want to be too thick on those. Actually, let's maybe take that back. Let's take that back. I am going to make them a little bit thicker. So let's grab this again. And hit Control E. Maybe something a bit more like that. then control E again. And I think actually rather than pulling straight down, I think we do want to be at a little bit of an angle actually. So let's maybe pull that down to about there. And then the exact same. Let's just delete these extra faces. Okay, so I think that would look better with those being a bit thicker. Um, what we're going to do is we're not going to add the like vents within this. We're going to add those extra little bits as extra primitives. Um, 
we'll probably do that in the next episode. So in between episodes, like I said, I'm going to have a go at cleaning up all of this area, including um, all of this region here. It just looks a little bit weird, especially if we're down at like this angle. It kind of bulges out and looks a bit gross. Um, so I'm going to have a go at fixing that. And again, I'll let you guys know what I've done um, when we get into the next episode. Uh, but for the most part, we're looking really good. I think we're close to finish with the body. Um, maybe in the next episode, what we could actually do is maybe the wheels and tires. Uh, that might be quite cool. Uh, we definitely need to do the wing mirrors as well. So maybe we'll do wheels, then wing mirrors, and then we'll start to think about all the final little components and stuff that will make this up. Um, I don't think we'll have any more areas that we need to have our honeycomb mesh, so we could probably get rid of that now. I right, guess so if you enjoyed this episode here please hit the thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will see you in the next one